Hello folks, I am Margie Roy from 3dcuts.com and today I am doing the tutorial for my Screech Owl Shadow Box. This shadow box is part of a four shadow box series, each featuring a different owl that is native to my state of Connecticut. These owls are designed to be easily crafted in cardstock. There is a separate tutorial for the assembly of each owl shadow box. Let's get started on the Screech Owl shadow box. First, cut out all of the parts for your shadow box. You'll notice all of the small pieces I have attached to a sticky mat to hold them in place. Another thing that I did is the tiny pieces I cut out in duplicate so that I wouldn't still have them even after I lost one. I always seem to lose an eye, so I cut four, then I don't have to go back to my, my cutting machine. All of the shadow boxes start with the same frame. There are three pieces, one, two, and three. We are going to start by folding on the dotted fold lines on all of them in the same direction. I'm going to hold this together with score tape. I like using score tape because it keeps my fingers clean. And on each of these corners, I am going to put two pieces of score tape. All four corners now have the score tape. I will peel the score tape and put together each corner. It's important that you keep these square. The cover is set. Now I'll work on Frame two, again, I fold on all the score lines. Apply score tape to each corner. And put together squarely. Frame two is done. Frame three, same procedure. Score tape is applied to the corners. I'll now peel it and assemble the back frame. Okay, all three frames are now done. I'm going to continue working on frame two. On frame two, the green leaf insert gets adhered, but first we have to add all of the details to the front of this owl. Here are all of the parts attached to my cutting sheet. I am going to be using art glitter glue. I've transferred it to this tiny glue bottle. There's a link to this on my website. I, I like using this because it really controls the degree of glue that goes out. First piece will get added right here. Each of these will get glued on in the order shown in this diagram, which I have available at my website. The, at the tutorial, I show these with each of the pieces in which order they get added on. You might want to print this up as a guide sheet.
you now simply glue each of the layers of the owl in place. Use art glitter glue and follow the chart or this video to get them in the correct order. Now on each of the owls, I like to put a couple of layers of foam on the back to help support it after it's in the frame. I use weather stripping because it's thicker than, and cheaper than uh, foam dots, but you can use foam dots if that's what you have. I want this to be about the thickness of layer two right here. It'll take two layers of this. Foam dots, it'll take more than two, but build it up. Okay, I also like to add just a little highlight to the eyeballs of any creatures I create. I do that by taking just a little bit of basic white acrylic paint and an old tooth, uh, an old paintbrush. I dip it in the paint. I test the size of my dot. Ooh, that's too big. Get it tiny. And I put just the tiniest dot right in the center of the eye. Just a little bit of a highlight there. I'm going to let that dry, but once it's dry, I will glue it into the frame of layer two. I will apply the glitter glue to the inside of layer two. The green frame should not show on the edges. It is a little bit shorter than the black frame. So when you place it in here, you should be able to place it so that you see a black edge all the way around. Like so. Adhere that in place. And now it's time to put all of the frames together. We will take frame three The blue insert gets put inside of frame three. I just cut this from blue cardstock. It is a six and five sixteenths inch square with a hole punched out of the corner that lines up with the hole in the back of layer three. You glue that in place. You place the moon in here and then you put layer two in. And this is to place where you want the moon on the background. I like having it so that it pretty much outlines the head of the owl, but isn't dead center around its head. So on that one, a little bit off to the side. Once I know where it's going to be, I again remove layer two. Careful not to move it. I take a pencil and I put two very light pencil marks so I can find that location again. I take my art glitter glue, apply it to the moon, locate my marks, and adhere the moon to the blue backdrop. Layer number two goes in next. 
you can put a little piece of score tape in here on each side just to hold it in place. And then layer one goes over it. Again, you can flip it over and put just a dab of score tape in each of these locations to hold it in place. But the Screech Owl shadow box is done. Isn't that stunning? There are three other owl shadow boxes to go and make now. Which one will be next? I'd love to see photos of your completed shadow boxes, so please share by sending me an email at margie at 3dcuts.com or on any of the various Facebook craft groups. You can check out the Natured Theme Shadow Box area of my website for many other interesting shadow box cardstock projects. Happy crafting everyone, and thank you for watching.